Oh no, the Tussos got my Ichthy. Uh oh. <laughs> it's gonna kill it. It killed it. Shit. Of all the critters that you could have grabbed, why did you have to grab my Ichthy, you asshole? Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascendant. I'm an old guy. Game and end in this episode. Uh, we're going to attempt to nab ourselves a 150 uh, Tuso, a female Tuso. So I've been out uh, with my shark crew getting them leveled up and also farming black pearls. I killed, um, I've, I've killed several alpha mosasaurs and um, took the first load of pearls back to the base and then I just more recently killed a second one so we got a, a stack of 100 black pearls there and um, I, I, I came across this 150 female Tuso and there's also a 125 Mosa uh, right near her too I wouldn't mind taming that but there's no way we could nab them both at the same time we'd have to we'd have to pull the Mosa away or the Tuso away so they're not near each other um, also, it is it is dawn and um, it's just very dark underwater right now. So I've got the shadows turned off and the gamma turned up a little bit. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be too dark uh, for the video. So um, yeah, so let's go see if we can spot that too. So I want, I actually want all my guys on passive. Um, I don't, you know, nor most people use uh, the turtles or, or something really tanky for a two so but I don't have I don't even have a turtle you know tamed up so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna just use one of our sharks the sharks have pretty good ascendant saddles on them and they have 15,000 health so I'm hoping they'll you know they'll be able to survive survive the uh, the grasp of the two so um, we got to clear the rest of this other trash out of here too all right, so let's head over this way and see. Okay, there she is right there. Um, the thing is, though, is like I said, I'm a little, I'm a little bit um, leery about the the mosasaur too. I don't want him interfering with us. And that looks like that's. Oh, come on, guys, get out of here. Yeah, there it is, right there. I mean, you know, again, like I said, that would be a a great tame too, but we eat, we're either gonna have to pull one of them away from each other, or we're gonna have to kill the Mosa. Um, why don't we try Plan A first? So, just trying to think how I want to try, how I want to do this. Um. Put everybody back on passive again. I wonder if I can pop the Mosa with an arrow to get its attention. These guys are all up in my business and they're supposed to be on the highest follow setting and they still get up in my business. So that kind of frustrating. Um Okay. Oh, actually, what am I doing? I don't need to. I don't need to get off the dino to shoot. That is such a long shot. Uh, you know what? I think the okay, yeah, the the squid just got us. That's fine too. I mean, if we can pull the squid away over here, then that works as well. But let's get her way over here. I am back from my uh, my first trip for a day or two. Uh, well, actually, I'm back for about three or four days. Um, and then I have to leave again for a couple of weekends for work. So um, don't know how many more videos I'll be able to get out between now and then. We'll just see how things go. Let's get these down here, too, so they're ready to go. And um, I'll just eat some of this now since I need to. Okay, so what we want to do, again, make sure you guys are passive. We want to get the Tuso's attention. 
and then have him latch on to one of the sharks. Uh, has it? Yep, okay, it's got one. Alright, so now what we need to do is go here and feed. Oh my god, that just about tamed the whole thing. Okay. So, I think we have to wait for a period of time. Hopefully it lets go of that shark. I don't know if it will or not. Does it? It's been a while since I've tamed one of these. Oh yeah, it did. Okay, cool. Uh, how ba badly did that damage you? Oh, pfft, it barely scratched you. <laughs> that was nothing. <laughs> okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, eh? Alright, so I just don't know how much longer we have to wait until it's ready for the next feeding. But yeah, damn, we... <laughs> We got a 152, so to 96% on the first feeding. That's pretty good. Um, <clears throat> all right. Well, I guess uh, we just wait for a bit and see, uh, you know, and try it again here in a little while. Does it, if I look at it like this, does it tell me? It probably doesn't give me any kind of time indication. All right, let's um, let's go back over towards it. If it's like a basilosaur, it's going to be several minutes before it's ready. But I, I again, I just I don't remember how long it takes. Okay, here she comes. Did she get okay, letter grab? Oh, not me. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait until it's hungry again. Okay. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Okay, so I'm just going to hang out. And um, try it again in a few minutes, and uh, I'll bring you guys back when uh, when it happens. Okay, let's give this another shot. I've I've actually attempted it twice more, uh, but it still wasn't ready. So let's see if it's ready now. There we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, we're going to call you Tenty for tentacles. I know that's really lame, but that's what it's going to be. Cool. Okay, so we just tamed ourselves a level 150 Tusatuthis, ladies and gentlemen. I wasn't even planning on doing this. We just came across it. Um, let's go ahead and get rid of this. And... Get rid of the camera for a second so we can get a nice little picture of our two so for the screenshot. Beautiful. All right. So I think that, um, turn my camera back on there. Uh, I'd, I think I'd like to actually maybe go after that Mosa too. Um, I have not seen very many high level, you know, giant sea creatures. Um, I have started to see more though now, you know, since I did the Dino Wipe. But I don't have what I need to get that done. Um, according to Dotadex, with my 373% damage crossbow, it'll take 44 Trank Arrows to knock it out. Um, and then 14 Exceptional Kibbles? Yeah, 14 Exceptional Kibble to tame it up. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way back to the western sea base drop these guys off um and then get you know get the stuff i need and then come back out and well you know what i probably won't drop these guys off i'll probably just keep them with me uh, we need to get you leveled and actually i'd kind of like to um uh what am i doing i'm I want you to be on high follow distance I, i'd kind of like to get a male too so now even if it's a lower level one just so we can Get a baby uh, with imprint for caving. Um, so yeah, 
why don't I go get my get my stuff and then I'll bring you guys back when we're ready to attempt this uh, 125 male Mosa. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, we are back and I have uh, some kibble. I've got some biotoxin. I've got a saddle that I've been sitting on for a while and 117 trank arrows. Dota deck says it should only take 48, but I'm bringing extra because you never know. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the team here on passive. And um, they can do a little bit of tanking for us, too. It would probably behoove us, however, to maybe try and clear some of the enemies away. There's the Mosa over there. Um... The Dunkley's not going to really be a problem. The eel's already coming towards us. So let's deal with it. Um, I found to my sort of kind of surprise that I have neither a Tuso... Are we fighting a, an Alpha? What the hell's going on? Oh, we are! <laughs> I didn't even see that thing there! Wow! Um, cool. Okay, that's gonna get us another hundred black pearls. Soldier 13 killed it. My goodness, that thing came out of nowhere. I had no idea that was there. Um, very good though. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I, I have, I don't have a Tuso saddle, nor do I have a Tuso saddle blueprint. Uh, which kind of surprised me because I have just about every other saddle and blueprint under the sun, you can imagine. Um, so that was actually really good. I'm glad we killed that thing because I need the, the pearls. Um, seven, 75 pearls. Okay. Uh, about a hundred substrate. That's really good too. Let's grab those things off of you. You got seven levels, which is great. Um, we'll grab the trophy items too. That's pretty decent. Um, oh shit. Okay. Most is coming. Where is my Ichthy? I don't even know where the Ichthy is. Okay, well. I'm going to start shooting this thing. And let these guys tank a bit. And once we... Once we get started, we want to keep up the barrage because their torpor drops incredibly fast. That thing comes after me, though. That's not going to be good. I really wished I knew what happened to my Ichthy. I mean, it's in that mess somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, here. Let's get, let's get to it. Okay. All right, I gotta get into a better position here. Alright, my guys are pretty tough, so I'm not too terribly worried about them taking too much damage, but um, we do need to kind of watch it. Uh, don't swim in front of me, please. So Soldier 6 tanking the damage. Just keep an eye on it, like I said, and if it starts looking real bloody, we'll have to retreat a bit. Okay, so the most is moving. They kind of in Ascended, they kind of do a torpor running, but it, then they tend to come back, so... Okay, let's get out of this view, have everybody follow. And, um... It's obviously getting close. It's also getting kind of bloody, too, which isn't the best.
All right. Oh, shit. This is not a good time for other things to be attacking us, but... Oh, how did my Tuso get so bloody? Well, actually, it wasn't at full health anyway. Let's get away from the Mosa so they can kill this damn eel. Oh, by the way, my, uh... Um... My Tuso has 48 points in melee uh, out of the wild. That is really good. That is exceptionally good. Uh, and has 39 health, which isn't bad either. Um, so, yeah, very cool. Put a few points into it. All right, now, um, okay, the most is still over here. Let's get a glass on it real quick. It's, uh, yeah, it, the torpor's still going up on it. Okay, but that could change really quick, so let's just give it a couple more hits. It's going to be going down here any second. Oh, actually, no, it's starting to drop. Okay. Okay, everybody on passive. There it goes. Nice. Okay, we got it down. Um, passive, passive, passive. Get away from the Mosasaur. In fact, everybody just go over there. Get away from that Mosa. Tenti, what are you doing? Oh, you're being attacked by... An angler. Which I can't get to. There we go. Okay, Tenti, go over there. Okay, let's pull these anglers away from the Mosa. We've got a level on our Ipti. Pretty much just put health into it. Okay. Kill those bastards off. Are we good? Okay. I want you guys to go even further away. Just go hang out over there. All of you. All y'all. Okay, you guys can stay neutral over here. Okay, something does attack you. Alright, let's head over here. Oh, we've got another stupid anglerfish. Okay, whatever, it's dead. Alright, let's head on down. We want to put these in and those in. So 7.7%. So yeah, it'll it's going to take about 14, 15 of these, which is what uh, which call it says. All right, I'm going to I'm just going to give it some of this right now because I know we're going to need to. And yeah, you should be you should be good to go. Okay, so I'm going to um, get away from this until it stands up. I'm just gonna go far away. Leave leave the area so no other enemies are around. All right, I'll bring you guys back when uh, that thing stands up. All right, guys, this thing uh, should be taking its last bite here in a moment. And then we'll have ourselves a 125 male Mosa. Not too bad. Hopefully it'll have pretty decent stats here. Oh, I guess it's going to need one more bite. Okay, yeah, no worries. Um, while we're waiting for that, yeah, it's 99.8. Dang. Um, let's go down and look at our... 
I just want to show you the stats on the on the squid here. So yeah, 48 points in melee is really good. It almost doesn't get better than that, you know. So yeah, as you can see on the right hand side, um, 48 points in melee. Really good. And then and 39 in health isn't bad either. 47 in stamina. I don't think stamina matters a whole lot on these critters, but if it does, well. Uh, and even, you know, 39 points in weight's not bad, so this thing came in with some really nice points uh, overall. Uh, but like I said, my plan is we'll grab a male. It doesn't even have to necessarily be a super high male. I mean, the higher the better, of course. Uh, so we can breed them and get an imprinted, an imprinted creature. Um, and we'll probably end up doing the same thing for um, the Mosa, too. Uh, but, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I have seen... I mean, I've rarely seen 150 level anything on this map, let alone, you know, a Tuso. So when I saw that, I go, we got to tame that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, okay, our Mosa's done. Cool. Uh, so let's go, let's go grab it and uh, see what kind of stats it has. I do have a, um, I have a Mastercraft Mosa platform saddle. It's a little bit better than this one I'm carrying it. So the next time we do a mind wipe to make more saddles, I'll make one of those too. Or maybe two if we have two Mosas. I don't actually have a normal Mosasaur saddle though. I only have the platform. Um, and for caving... A normal one would probably be better just because it wouldn't be so big. If that matters at all, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. But I don't have I don't have a, even a blueprint for a normal Mosa, just the platforms. But uh, it'll probably work okay. It'll just be nice to have that extra support, you know, when we're doing the caves. All right. Let's see what you got, buddy. You have 40 melee. That's good. And 38 health. That's pretty good, too. Can't complain about that. Those are actually not bad stats at all. Not bad at all. Cool. Uh, all right. So let's go ahead and put this on you. And what are we going to name you? We're going to name you... Um... We're just going to name you Mo. <laughs> I know, that's super original, isn't it? Uh, but hey, it's kind of fitting. Okay, nice. So yeah, we got ourselves a max level Tuso and a high level Mosasaur in the same episode. Pretty fantastic. Um, Alright, well I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay out in the ocean a little bit longer and see if I can farm up a few more black pearls, get some levels on both the Mosa and the um, squid. And, um, you know, we did in the last episode, uh, which for me was a few days ago now, uh, we did get the uh, Rhino Natha uh, tamed up and imprinted. And it's, you know, I mean, because it's such low level, it's it, it's it, it's going to be useful, I think, for, um, um, you know, for just traveling. It's super slow when you're carrying anything, though, but that's just a nerf they did on all rhinos. I need to do a direct follow on Icky here because he's ignoring whistles. Um, <clears throat> but, I mean, it did, you know, it goes pretty fast for flying, and it has a, a decent amount of weight, I guess. So when I get back to the base, I'll I'll show it to you. You know, we'll, we'll take it out for a spin just so you can kind of see what it can do at that really low level. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we uh, have a level 85 female Mosa. I have a cool looking blue one over here. And um, I think I'm going to go ahead and nab her. I don't have any. Um, are you wait a minute? Are you following somebody? You should be following the Mosasaur. Yeah, you are. You're just on high follow. Um, 
but we can get it knocked out, throw a little bit of biotoxin on it to keep it down, and then I can run back and get some. Um, 85 is high enough to make it worthwhile, I think, to mate with our, our 125. Oh, shit, there's two of them. Did not know that. There's the 85, and that's a, that's just a 35. Okay, um, so I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to keep everybody back over this way. And I want you all to be passive. Let's get the Tuso a little closer to the rest of the team here. In fact, you know what? I'm going to put you on high follow instead of super high. Okay. And then everybody just stay passive for now. And uh, let's see if we can lure that, that 85 over here. Get it down. Um, I'd rather not also get the attention of the 35 at the moment. Okay, who, which one's which? They look exactly the same. You're the 35. Okay. Did we get the attention of the other one? I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay, and we'll just let everybody here tank. Just like we did before. While we knock this one out. Okay, it's starting to run. And it is building... Torper, <clears throat> but uh, still needs quite a bit more. Probably should pull this other one over. We have our guys kill it. Hmm. Don't want the other one around, though, at the same time. Let's let them deal with that. Oh, it's down. Nice. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Um, okay, let's pull these eels away. I don't think that'll matter because I hadn't started feeding it yet, so it's technically not taming yet. I just put some some biotoxin on it. The reason my other Mosa is so bloody is just because I've been leveling its health. It's actually not bad. It's okay. Um. All right. So let's see here. I think what I want to do. So I think I want to leave everybody over here. Um, come on. Let's go. And I'm just going to whip up to the eastern sea base. Um, well, here. Let's just have everybody follow Mo. I want to get a little further back away from the other Mosa, though. Okay, so everybody follow Mo. Everybody be on neutral. Mo, you be on passive just so you stay put. You also got another point, too, so let's put that into there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to run up to... Um, where's my ichthy? He should be following me. Yeah, okay. Up to the sea base, teleport back to the main base, get some kibble for this, and then come back and 
get it up. So I will bring you guys back when this one stands up. Maybe with a little bit of luck, we'll run into a decent sized male too. So before this episode's over. Uh, but what we do want to do is we do want to feed it some of this. So I don't know. I'm going to give it about say that much and that should keep it. Keep it down until we get back. Okay, let's cruise. All right, guys, we are back. Let's go ahead and throw the kibble on her. And uh, she'll eat a few of them, but I don't, I don't think she's been down long enough to eat all of them. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, shit. Are you serious? Oh. Should I should have been paying attention. Damn it. Get piece of shit. Ah. Well, that was completely my fault. I did not check to see if anything was around. Uh, oh. Never mind. We still had 100% taming effectiveness on that. I guess it hadn't... I guess it hadn't hit it. Um, okay. Never mind then. Um, Mosarita. How's that? Mosarita. Sure. Okay. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> Okay, so she's got 24 health, which sucks, and 28 melee, which sucks, 31 stamina, which sucks, but, I mean, you know, she was only level 85, so, uh, we'll just, we just need to get the male's stats breeded onto the baby, which shouldn't be too hard, it might take a few attempts, but, um, I think we can do it, and then we'll be good. Okay, phew, wow, um... Yeah, I thought for sure I saw the shark come up and bite bite her, but I guess it didn't because it still said it had 100% taming effectiveness. So, all right, cool. I'll take it. Let's see, that saddle's 54. I'd like the better saddle on the, the better Mosa. Yours is... Oh! Okay, so yours is going to have more durability but less armor. I think we'll switch these out then. Where are you at? This has durability of 260 and an armor of 54. Durability of 193 and less armor. So this is a journeyman saddle, but it's got less armor and less durability than the apprentice. Okay, that should not happen, but apparently it does. So this is actually the better saddle. Okay. Um, yeah, we lucked out on that one, man. I, I, I could have sworn I saw the shark bite the Mosa, <laughs> but I guess it didn't. So, okay. Well, I'm happy that it didn't. All right, well, I'm going to take the crew up to the eastern sea base. Uh, I did see a low-level, like, 25 Tuso male on the way up there. And then, like, a level 15 most is stuck in the mesh. But that's all I saw. Um, I suppose we could maybe try to get that 25 too so. And then just keep breeding him until the mom stats gets on the baby. Um, I brought some extra black pearls with me. In case we decide to, to do that. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll... I'll get over there first, and then I'll decide what I want to do. Okay, let's head out. Okay, you need to be on high follow distance, yo. Put you on high, high. Okay, let's go ahead and pick this Tuso up. If I find something better, though, I'll 
ch exchange it out. Can it grab Moses? I don't remember if it can or not. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. It can grab whatever it wants to grab, I suppose. Is it... Got a hold of anything? Oh, shit. We got nails, man. Everybody's on passive, too, so nothing's killing them. Okay. I don't think that... I think that... Oh, no, the Tuso's got my Ichthy. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's gonna kill it. <laughs> it killed it. Shit! Of all the critters that you could have grabbed, why did you have to grab my Ichthy, you asshole? Okay, I'm just gonna wait for it to grab another shark or something. go inking on us. I think we still have a... Yeah, we still have an eel that we gotta deal with. And I need to recover that icky saddle too, because that was a good... Um, everybody get out of the way. Get out of the frickin' way. Okay, so let's let him come in and hopefully grab a shark this time or whatever it wants to grab okay Try to get to the beak here there we go all right now um it killed the ichthy oh yeah there it is Oh, that sucks, man. I had had that icky for a long time. It was a good good mount. Okay, well, it is what it is. Okay, let's get back to the base and we'll get the, both the Mosas and the Tusos breeding. And uh, hopefully with a little luck, I'll be able to get the good stats on the babies soon and not have to do it a, a hundred times first. We'll see how it goes. Oh, we got an alpha. Oh, I didn't know Tusos could grab alpha mo uh, megalodons. That's cool, man. Good to know. There we go. Nice. Uh, we might have more than that. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it's kicked in yet. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to get the health on this up to 40,000. And then I think we'll put the rest into melee. Um, doesn't look like we got anything spectacular from that. Excellent. Everybody else is stuck way the hell down here. No surprise there. Are they stuck or they just didn't heed the whistle? Yeah, yeah, maybe I just didn't whistle them. I don't know. Okay, let's head back to the eastern sea base. Okay, I got to figure out. I'm going to fit all these guys in here. <laughs> um, we have a lot more room at this base than we do at the western base, but still... These are some big creatures, man. So, I don't know if I... I don't even know if I can get the... Moses or the... Um, Tusos around here. I think it's going to be too shallow. So I think what we'll do is we'll... Let's move the two Bassies over to that side. At least get them out of the way. I should actually cryo these two anyways, because they're just my base pair. They're not the, my current breeding pair, which is over here. There 
and then I think we'll bring in the mows first and kind of put them... Eh, maybe we should bring the, in the Tussos and put them kind of over in that corner. Because they're a little sl more slender. Yeah, let's do that first. Well, actually, they're not that much more slender. Maybe a little. I'm going after something that's attacking. Come on. You're stuck. Um, let's just give you health because you're just a breeder. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing anything else with you. Alright. Well, let's get these guys started doing the naughty. And uh, hopefully, like I said, the baby will pop out with the mother's stats. Or at least the, the good ones. The ideal scenario is that it pops out with the mother's health and melee and stamina. Um, and then the father's oxygen and food and weight, you know, the ones that don't really matter that much. Hmm. I wonder if her, ba her baby's going to pop out. I don't know. I'll just have to watch it when it happens. Okay, now where are we going to put these big fat mosasaurs? Uh, if I can, I might be able to get them in over here. In fact, might even be easier for me to bring them in on the other side. Uh, now that I think about it, so... And put you pretty much, yeah, right there. That worked out alright. Yeah, I mean, if we if we did a lot of breeding of these creatures, we would need a bigger base for sure. Um, there is room to expand this laterally, not out that way because it gets real deep. Unless we we built um, like a floor. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get you guys started doing the naughty. Okay. So let's see... Tenti is going to... Wait, what? Where's your... Oh, you guys do eggs! I thought you did, uh... Wait a minute, what? Is that considered an egg? I thought they were gestation creatures. All right, hold on. I need to get I need to get you out of the way and get your saddle off you. Okay, so let's move you over here as well. Okay, so it's going to be ready in 25 minutes. Cool. It's been a long time since I've mess with Tuso, so I kind of forgot that uh, this is how their eggs look. That's kind of neat, though. Okay, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be gestation, though. Uh, Masarita, yeah. So she'll be ready to pop one out in 47 minutes. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, guys, I'm going to cut the camera here. I'll bring you back when those two babies are born, just uh, to show you what the stats are. Um, oh, I was going to also... Show you the Rhino Natha too. Let's let me get these sharks in, and then we'll pop over there and just take a quick look at that. For those of you who may be interested. Okay, let's take a quick look at the Rhino. I have it sitting over here by the uh, the Lystros for a few extra levels. You guys, these two soldiers still need to be leveled here. 
All right, so you have two points. It's just the health is incredibly low. Um, because I think the only thing this thing's going to be good for is just traveling around and scouting. I mean, it's mainly damage is pathetic, too. I think stamina is really what we need to put points into. It's got a very, very good saddle, though, that I found out of some loot. So, yeah, I mean, it's... um. If it flies decently fast, and uh, so it'll, it'll be good for scouting, but that's that's probably about it. I just don't think of what else I can use it for with its really low health and its really low melee damage. Um, you know, we can pick creatures up and haul them around, too. It's just like I said, it takes, uh, you know, it just slows it down so much doing that. But, I mean, this isn't bad, though, for, for flying speed. Definitely faster than an Argentavis. I don't know if it's faster than a... Tapahara or not. Oh, you know how we could tell that? We could tell the Tapahara to follow us and see how well it keeps up. Um, one question I have is I can put um, resin armor on. Um, yeah, resin armor, which is control C. Um, as far as I can tell, that doesn't. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's going to wear off. Oh, I, I see what's happening. Okay, so if you look at the resin meter on the left-hand side there, see, we're already out of stamina. Um, it's, it's burning through my resin supply to keep the armor on. That's what the deal is with that, okay? So, so yeah, it does consume that. So let's not keep that on. Um, what I want to do, though, is I want to have the Tapahara follow us and just see if it can keep up with this. Because my Tapahara is my fastest flying mount, uh, well, until we got the Rhino Natha, anyway. And, um, if the Tapahara is just as fast as the Rhino, then this thing's almost worthless to me. We're just plain going to have to get a faster one. You know, because Tapahara's got a lot more stamina. I can go a lot further with it. But let's um, let's get it caught up. Okay, so let's just see if we can keep up with it. It does. This does move pretty fast, though. I have to say. It's just that the stamina wears out really fast, is all. Okay, so that answers that question. It is definitely faster than the Tapahara is. So, yeah, it'll be good, you know, good for scouting, flying around, looking for stuff. Um, and, you know, we, I'll, I'll probably still try and go after a better one anyways before this series is over. I'm not saying this is the only time we're ever going to tame one of these, but um, it's just, like I said, it's just got very limited usefulness because of its super low level. But it's not completely useless, so... All right, well, I will meet you guys back at the Eastern Sea Base um, when those babies are ready, and we'll hatch them or whatever, pull them out, and then we'll take a look at their stats and go from there. All right, guys, this uh, egg's about ready to hatch here. And uh, let's see what we get. Hopefully we'll get the health in melee of the mother. That's the main thing. Uh, why am I not showing your stats? Oh, I don't know. Okay. So you have the health and melee of the father. Well, that sucks. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to have to try that one again. Um, yeah, so we'd, this baby's completely useless to us. Um, if it was a female... No, not even if it was a female. Okay. All right, well, I'll bring you back again in um, 22 minutes. Well, 22 minutes for me, for you, a couple seconds. And we'll see what pops out of the Moses. This baby's going to have to go, unfortunately. All right, guys. Uh, Masa Rita here is about ready to... Or, no, I guess has already... Popped out the baby. Um, so where the hell is it at? 
<laughs> it's probably inside of her. So let's get up here. Move her out of the way a bit. And here we go. Okay. Let's just claim you and... Pull you over here a little bit. Okay, let's take a look at your stats. So you've got... Oh, yeah, okay. I thought I, th I was thinking his health was 39, but that's the two, sir. Okay, so you got Dad's health, which is good. Um, do you have Dad's melee, which is 40? You... Yeah, I can't tell. There's too many icons in the way. You do? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um... You have mom stamina, but that doesn't matter so much because I probably won't be riding you a whole lot. So, and and it's a female too, which is means yeah, which means she can actually take the place of mom Sarita for future breeding. Um, what about weight? You got thirty one. Oh, you got a mutation in weight. Well, look at that. How interesting. Okay. Um, you inherited though. Dad's weight too, so plus the mutation. Yeah, so good. This baby got got the good stats, so we're definitely gonna keep her and replace Masarita with this one, um, and probably maybe do a couple more, like get a meat boosted pair <clears throat> with you know that are fully imprinted, and uh, then we'll be good on Mosas. So we'll have a couple of big old tanky Mosas to take into the to the sea caves. And, uh, you know, do do black pearl hunting and all that good stuff. So, okay, good. I'm glad uh, I'm glad that we rolled the dice pretty good on this one. So I'll just keep trying, you know, on the Tussos until we get a baby that's, you know, got the mom's stats because the mom's the strong one with the Tussos. And, uh, yeah, just kind of keep going with that. All right, guys. Well, I think we're out of time for this episode, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.